Hurricane season started earlier than usual this year. It's typically June the 1st, but this year the official start date was May the 1st. So here's the big question. Are you ready? So ready meaning do you have your hurricane kit pack in case you need to leave in a hurry? So, you know, many of us have that. You got your extra supplies, medication. News for Jack's anchor Bruce Hamilton is here. Bruce, now's the time we know to get ready, but not just for mom, dad, and the kids. We got to worry about those little guys. Yep, got to worry about your pets. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have hurricane preparedness kits for the family. Need to have one for your pets, too, in case you got to skedaddle in a hurry. And tomorrow, May 8th, is National Animal Preparedness Day. Look back at the past year. We need to look at all the disasters we faced. And we're not just talking about COVID-related. There were tornadoes in the Midwest, earthquakes and wildfires across the country, and, yes, hurricanes. And hurricane season has already begun. Most of us, quite frankly, are not prepared for ourselves, let alone our pets. So let me help you change that. Our pets are part of our families. They're our four-legged kids. And just like establishing an emergency plan for your human family, you should develop one for your pets as well. Establish a safe place for your pets. Have a plan with a neighbor or friend to help if you're not home. Make sure they know where your pet's emergency supplies are. Give them important phone numbers like animal control, local boarding, and their veterinarians. Have your pets microchipped and make sure your information's up to date with the microchip company. Make sure your pets are crate trained, just in case they have to be boarded in a shelter. Also practice traveling with them so they're okay in cars. Have a dedicated pet emergency pack ready. Items should include plenty of water, one and a half to one ounce per pound of body weight per day is recommended. Food, pet friendly first aid kit, bowls for food and water, a slip lead so you can get your pets out quickly, medications, recommended five day minimum, waste disposal bags, LED light in case you have to evacuate at night, a blanket for warmth, toy if you wind up in a hotel is helpful as well, a cat litter box, scoop and litter, an ID card and a photo of you and your pet for identification should you be separated. Also have an up-to-date copy of your pet's shop records. And look, it can be devastating to have to leave your pet behind or lose your pet because you were not prepared for a disaster. And by the way, when your pet's in the car, just like your kids, and they go, when are we going to get there? Your answer should be, when we get there, we get there. Mm. Mm.